Hi, Daniel here. I recently finished the robotics nano degree from Udacity and I wanted to build something with what I've learned. So I decided to build a robotic arm that chases the laser like a cat. Without further ado, here's the arm in action. Here's a close-up video showing how the robot moves. You can see that it tries to look at the laser directly while stretching out as far as possible. When the laser is at a lower position, the robot can stretch out further. But when the laser goes up, the robot has to retract back. The robot follows the laser pretty well. It's within a few millimeters from the laser. Here's a top-down view of the robot. One of the reasons it doesn't follow the laser more precisely is because there is too much wiggle room at any given position. Ideally, the robot should not be moved by my fingers right now, but even the robot costs only about 50 bucks, this is acceptable. You may have noticed that the camera is looking at the board at an angle. I do this because I don't want the robot to block the camera view. But shooting at an angle makes it hard to calculate the laser's position. To fix this, I apply perspective transform to each video frame. The left window shows what the camera is actually seeing, and the right window shows the result of the perspective transform. If you compare the two pink sticky notes, you can see that the perspective has been warped in the right window. It's like the camera is shooting straight at the board. Now I want to briefly talk about how things are connected in both hardware and software. There are four hardware components in the system. We got the computer, we got the camera, the Arduino board, and of course, the robotic arm. The camera is connected to the computer through USB. Same goes for the Arduino board. There are PWM pins on the Arduino that you can use to communicate with the robotic arm. As for the software, a Python code, which mainly uses OpenCV, grabs the video stream from the camera, analyzes it, and publishes the laser position to ROS. So the Python code is in the computer. It uses OpenCV. It grabs the video stream from the camera and outputs the laser position to ROS. In the meantime, the Arduino has been subscribing to the position topic in ROS. And once it receives the position data, it'll perform inverse kinematics to calculate the joint angles which are then sent to the robotic arm. So the joint angles will be output to the robotic arm. Well, that's it for today. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.